Welcome to Phone Mart. How may I help you? iPhone 4. Where is the iPhone 4? I need an iPhone 4. Just let the MacBooks pile up. Your health is more important. No, actually it isn't. Let's see what's wrong with little MacBook. Little MacBook is only taking 9 milliamps. Why is little MacBook only taking 9 milliamps? One way to find out. Let's get this MacBook board out of here. Now the MacBook is taking 35 milliamps, but not turning on. Let's check the power rails on this MacBook. The first thing we're going to do is go through the list of power rails. Let's check our PP bus. PP bus G3 Hot is supposed to be 8.6 volts. If we go to the other side of the board, and we check our PP bus, what do we get? 8.6 volts on PP bus. Next rail, PPVRTC underscore G3 hot. Let's see what we get on this one. All right, 3.3 volts. Next up, PP5VS5. Five volts. PP5VS4 appears to be missing. And it's not being told to turn on, imagine that. So PM Sleep S4L is missing on this board. Let's see if it's pulsing. So we're gonna check over here for the enable. Do you pulse, my friend? Aha! And now we have corrosion. Here is the reason that perhaps we are not getting pulsing. Look at that. What's this? This is U1950. U1950 is going to be two logic gates in one. This logic gate says if all sys power good and CPU VR power good are present, send out PMSOP good. And if PMSOP good are present and SMC delayed power good are present from the SMC, then allow sys power OK to come out and go to the PCH. This signal is going to be needed. PM PCH power OK is important for many things. PMPCH power OK is going to be one of the signals in the PCH system power management section. And remember, we need all of the inputs in order to get all of the outputs. And one of the outputs on this side is PM Sleep S4L. PM Sleep S4L is going to be what turns on my 5 volt rail here. So if we look, my 5 volt S4 rail is not turning on over here. That turns on or is enabled when P5VS4RS3P good is present. P5VS4RS3P good is going to come from P5VS4RS3 enable. And that comes from PM Sleep S4L. So this is going to explain our entire problem right here. Burn corroded chip, burn. Now, of the eight pads here, which is the one that's corroded? The one that's corroded appears to be pad responsible for power. So if we take a look on the board view software here, the PP3V42 underscore G3 hot power pad, the one that delivers power, is the one that is broken.
conical tip is disgusting. We have revealed the pad. Now we're going to take a chip from a donor. All right, that's going to settle in a place in a moment. Beautiful. Push down on the board. As can be seen, the fan spins, which means that we're done with our work here today. So this board was missing PM Sleep S4L. We went through the list of power rails, PP5 ES4 RS3 was missing. When we looked, we noticed that the enable was missing. That enable tracks back to PM Sleep S4L, which comes from the CPU slash PCH, which usually means short to ground somewhere, BIOS or SPI ROM traces broken, so it's not communicating and initiating the PCH to turn on these rails, or CPU's dead. In this case, it wound up being U1950 was broken and missing the 3.42 volts going to the chip. So we restored it, and it worked. Now here's the funny part. Here's the really interesting part of this entire scenario. PM Sleep S4L was missing, right? Well, typically, you need PM Sleep S4L to be present before PM PCH Power OK comes to be present. So let me show you this. So this is responsible for taking all sys power good and CPU VRP good and making PM SOP good. And then if PM SOP good is present with SMC delayed power good, then you get PM PCH sys power okay. But keep in mind, all sys power good is not going to show up until you're in an SO state. And if we're missing PM sleep S4L, then we're not even in an S4 state. So how is it that PM sleep S4L was not showing up because a chip was broken that creates a signal that only shows up when you're in an SO state. I repeat, you need to be in an SO state to have all sys power good be present. This chip is only going to create these signals if you're in an SO state. That chip being damaged caused us to not even be in an S4 state. I, I don't get it, but I don't need to know because I made the fan spin. See? See? You think I'm smart. I'm not. I'm a janitor. I walk across the board with my little mop and my Mr. Clean. I just do it in a microscope is all, and you think I'm special for that, because I do it in a microscope, and you do it in the aisles of Walgreens. But it's all the same principle. I have no idea why this works. I really don't. And I probably won't for a very long time. Again, just to be clear here, all sys power good. This signal is not present until we're in an SO state. This, this chip takes CPU VRP good and all sys power good and makes PMSOP good of it. 
and then takes PMSOP good and SMC delayed power good and makes PAM sys PCH power okay. Our problem with this board was that we were missing an S4 line because the enable for the S4 line was not present. How is it that by fixing a chip area that o only deals with SO power signals that we fixed our S4 rail? I don't know. But I fixed it, and that's all that matters as an adult. You don't have to know why it works. You just have to know that it works, and then you can collect the money. With that, we move on to the next board repair. I also want an iPhone 4. Don't even get me started with that shit. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store.